Welcome to the Jetty Wolf Workshop one more time. Yep, just hanging out here, getting a little bit done on a Sunday morning, and I had a kind of a good reason to do a video, and that reason was, get a little light, more light on the subject here, uh, that reason was I want to tell you about old Doc Miller. Doc Miller is getting out of the fishing business. Well, he's getting out of fishing in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh. Man, these are the best chips I've ever ate in my entire life. Zaps. New Orleans kettle style voodoo chips. I highly recommend these. They're addictive. Mm. Ooh. They're kettle cooked and then they got a flavoring on them that is just unbelievable. Uh, let's see. Onion flavor, citric acid, garlic, paprika, turmeric, and natural smoke. Alright, enough of that. I was out here doing some work on my trailer. One of the trailer lights, just the whole side lens fell off. The screws were rusty, but thank God I got spares. I always have spares. So I dismantled the other light and I fixed the light on the trailer. Another reason that I'm doing a video here is it's going to be a little product show and tell, a little upgrade to the Jetty Wolf shop is what I'm going to cover, and I think I'll start by telling you about a guy that was in many, many, many of my videos. People have literally asked about him over the course of the years. Doc Miller. Well, Doc Miller lives down here only part time of the year in Jacksonville, and the rest of the time he lives up in. Uh, North Carolina in the mountains well I guess we could say the Wu flu done claimed another victim Doc Miller ain't young he said he's 78 years old so he's given up the traveling back and forth and the Jacksonville fishing now he was a float freak and he is selling off all of his stuff. He sold his house down here with the boat and the trailer. That was the deal. So I'm going to read you an email that he sent because I'm going to post it on my community's page, community page, I'm going to post it on my blog, of all the gear that he's selling. There's no prices on this. If you're interested, you need to email him and ask him, you know, what's he want for it. If you want to be getting into float rig fishing and all that inshore in Jacksonville, and you want to dip your toe in the pond, as they say, this is a good way of doing it. All right. Okay, um, it says, good morning, Captain Dave. Here's a list of the fishing gear I am going to sell before we move to North Carolina. I mean, he's down in Jacksonville now. So this is a limited time. You want to get with him as soon as possible. Okay, have any interested party contact me at my email. And I'll put the email in the caption right here at the end of the list so pay attention okay here's what he's selling and I know all about this since I kind of suggested it 
He's selling a Shimano Corrado 300 EJ. That is the low profile Shimano Corrado, which is a excellent, excellent reel with the big power handle on it. Okay. Um, he's got the Shimano Corrado 300 EJ reel with a seven foot ugly stick rod spooled with 30 pound test braid and then he always keeps on it. He's got an easy drift float with a matching two ounce weight. What he means by the e, uh, easy drift float is it is the small compact floats that I used. There's different brands. I mean, there's the Bow Mac easy drift. I use West Coast floats. His might be West Coast and he's calling them easy drifter or whatever. I don't know. Okay, that's rigged and ready to go. That's the difference here, folks. A whole entire float rig. That Shimano Corrado 300 EJ, that's a high speed, low profile bait caster. It's made, made for saltwater fishing, okay? With a seven foot ugly stick. Then he has a Shimano, Shimano Calcutta 250 bait casting reel. It's a medium size uh, Shimano Calcutta, all machined. You know, the gold ones. I'm assuming it's the gold one. With a seven foot uh, rod spooled with three, th 30 pound test braid line. He doesn't say what kind of rod. Then he's got an Abu Garcia 6500. I remember this one. C3 bait casting reel with a seven foot ugly stick striper rod spooled with 30 pound test braid and an easy drift float with a matching two ounce weight. So that's a complete top to bottom uh, float rig setup that all you need to do is add hook and leader. That's all you need to do. Okay, then he's got an Abu Garcia 4600C reel with an Abu Garcia seven foot light action rod and it's spooled with 30 pound test braid and has a popping cork on it. And then he's got a Shimano 4000 FH Stratic spinning reel on a seven foot Shimano rod spool with 30 pound test braid. So there's a spinner and a whole bunch of bait casters. Uh, then he's got a flow troll uh, bait bucket He's got nine more easy drift floats with matching two ounce weights. That is the same as the floats I use. Okay, these, these are the open cell foam. Get rid of those stupid balsa floats. I saw a guy just the other day, just actually yesterday out fishing, who was using an old balsa float type thing. There's way better than a balsa float. Okay, two custom made rod holders. I assume they're, they're, they're rod holders that go like in your rod holder for trolling or something maybe. He's got a good uh, uh, ACDC Marine Metal Products Live Well Aeration System. I know what that is. Uh, that's, that's a good one. You can do plug it into the wall with an adapter. You can plug it into 12 volt on your boat for a bubbler. And one new... 110 volt AC electric fillet knife. So there you go. Doc Miller's selling out. The boat's not available, but all this is he was a float rig fisherman. All right. He had a 21 foot bay boat. Uh, that's, that's what he did. That's all he did here in Jacksonville. He's not far from where I live. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to contact him at Dick and Nan Miller at BellSouth.net. I'll put it up right here and in the video description where you can email him, contact him about looking at some of this stuff. If you're local and you want to step, boom, right in to some tackle that's rigged and ready for float rig fishing, and some other products. Well, what have I been doing? 
Well, I picked up that. That is the Cold Steel Super Edge. Is that something else? Look at this compared to, you know my favorite, that. Look at that, folks. But guess what? This thing is so handy. I must use it 10 times a day. There's the grip on it. This little knife is pretty famous, to tell you the truth. Serrated edge, you can see. It's sharp, and I've been beating on it pretty hard lately. But here's the killer thing, is the sheath. The sheath. It's got a nice little plastic sheath that the retention is really good. I'm going to show you how I've been carrying this, and I'll continue to carry it. Because the reason I'm using this, for your knife guys out there, is anytime I want to do something kind of crazy and I just want to whip something out on the boat, at home, or whatever, and I want to save the edge on my tiger claw, which I always do, I want to always save this, I use this. Now let me show you how I actually carry it. You're going to kind of say, what the hell? There I go. i got to get my shirt out of the way. There you go. I put it on one of these and it hangs right here. Right here on the front of my fishing shorts 24-7. Right there. And then I just put this belt over it or through the loop. So it's right there. I go like that. And then I just stick it in there push and the retention is great so yeah that's a little kooky that's how I carry it it also be a little neck knife it could be a keychain knife it could just be in your pocket but what I wanted was this I wanted if you can see I wanted really fast deployment and then all I do is Pop it right back in. So that's how I carry it. Right there, man. I am so right-handed that everything always is on this side. Got to be on this side. Just like my tiger claw is right here. So my wallet is on this side. There's my wallet. Everything except my keys and cell phone. They're on this side. I carry them on this side because I can't carry no more over here. I also wanted to show you this little knife is on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Okay. 17, 18 bucks, free delivery. If you got a knife guy in your house, this might be a little something you might want to just throw his way for Christmas or a birthday or anything like that because it's just so handy and small. It's two fingers. Got a really rubbery handle that feels great. And it's very grippy and you can choke up on it. So that's just one of those things I'd appreciate if you all check out my tools of the trade page. And the other thing, what do I do? I also carry one more thing on my right side. I'm gonna say it again. That is the best mono and braided line cutter known to man. It's been sitting on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page for a long time. And if you are using some kind of absolute horseshit braid shears, why? Why? That's ceramic. It doesn't, it doesn't wear out. It doesn't rust. It doesn't do anything. And I have that video where I just go, when you cut it off, it cuts it close enough. It cuts it that close. See how the thickness of that? You always leave a tag end because even a good fisherman that I know used to run a big giant party, party boat in Jacksonville, Florida, once said, always let the fish pull your knots 
really tight. You don't have to sit there and wrench on them with your mouth and your... Uh, you don't need to do that. Let the fish pull it tight. So you're always going to leave a little tag end. That right there goes right in its own sheath right here. So, see that? Right there. Never goes anywhere. Walk straight in the doctor's office. My urologist. Walk right in. Got that on. It's not a weapon. It's a line cutter. So, there you go. Okay, the newest other thing going on here is in the shop. My dad got me a big giant vise for Christmas, and so he can use it too. It's got a pipe gripper down here. It's twice the vise that we used to have. It's got all kinds of measurements. This will slide. This will go on angles, and I mean, it's just got, it's just a whole different kind of vise. My old vise is over here next to the welder. I ended up taking this vise and just putting it over here on this workbench. Welder, welding table, and then one other thing. We got a nice bench top little drill press here with the parts holder. This is separate. <coughs> it's a win. Five speed. You open this up. And there's your spindle speed RPMs, recommended ranges for wood, aluminum, zinc, brass, and iron and steel. Nice, nice, nice. Compact. Stick it right here on top of the, on the bench so I can get some more stuff done. All right, well, what else is going on lately? I was out yesterday morning. This is my this is my wintertime Aura Walk shirt. Aura Walk sent me this. Gone but never forgotten. 9/11. FD New York. New York PD. This is. He sent me this. So I wear it all the time when I need a little extra than a t-shirt makes me feel official <laughs> so I was out yesterday it was blowing 20 knots they picked yesterday I don't know why because it was a Saturday it was heinous we did catch finally caught some drum finally caught a few trout uh, everywhere I went there was a god dang boat sitting there I'll say it one more time. You want a really good day? Monday through Wednesday at 7 a.m. It's getting to the point, folks. This town's so big anymore. This ain't a town. This is a metroplex of... and the people that are out there. Because everybody fishes the same hub. You know what I mean? Each boat ramp will be the center. And then there's the... That's the hub. And then there's the lanes out to the edge of the wheel. That's how I refer to it. And you can't go out and be anywhere near the hub without people everywhere. And there was some kind of flats boat tournament yesterday. And, and you know what? Here it is Sunday. And it is absolutely gorgeous and no wind. Why didn't they pick today? I don't know. I don't know. If you want the best day, you consult me. If you want to know the best weather, you consult me. It's just that simple. So, here it is, a gorgeous day, and I'm fixing trailer lights and doing a little follow-up video here of just what's been going on. But the real purpose was to let you know what old Doc Miller here is selling. Don't forget, I'll put it in the video description, all this that he's selling, and his email. Okay, so you can... You can get in contact with them if you'd like to purchase anything that's step into it float rig fishing. You're just going to step into it 
and you'll be flute rigging. And, you know, some decent stuff. Stuff that I've recommended. I told him, you need to get a better reel. Well, I believe his daughter bought him that Shimano Corrado EJ. I told, I, was, I think I told her to get that because that would just be a perfect reel for him. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Nothing else is really going on. Uh, yesterday it really wasn't worth turning on the camera except for a black drum. We caught a nice black drum. At least one spot that I went to. We pulled up, dropped the hook, baited him up, and I said, there ought to be a black drum down there. And the guy goes, yeah, okay. And he caught a nice black drum. So don't forget to look at my fishing reports blog. I put that link below also. And uh, let's see what else. I think that's about it. I got some lots of inquiries for directly after Christmas. Uh, early bird gets to fish. Maximum four people. Got an email last night. Five people. I'm not an inshore party boat. And inshore fishing is not a giant group affair in the first place. I don't know where that comes into people's minds. But it isn't. All right. So thanks for watching. And I uh, appreciate your patronage. If you're looking for any kind of special little items for anybody for Christmas, I highly recommend this nice little Wicked Edge. What's it? What's it? No, Super Edge on Amazon. It's on my Tools of the Trade page. I've got all my other favorite knives. I've got my favorite rods. Not everything's in stock. That's the thing. My Daiwa beef stick that I did the two videos on and testing and showing and talking about it. Instantly, I guess you all bought them up. They're out of stock. Just that. They went up in price big time. They went from $47, boom, $67, $107 out of stock. Go figure. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. And as I always say... Hopefully it'll be fishing. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'm